right guys, so it is truly a winter wonderland out there right now. We're getting a, uh, a healthy storm, apparently. It's been snowing all night, but today I'm gonna try and go get my IQ that's up in the woods that's hopefully not burnt down to the ground. Let me grab my stuff. Yeah. And uh, we'll start hiking, see what we can do. Hopefully we can get this thing back down to the house at least so I can start working on it. But that's what's up. Look at all this. I love it. All right, let's get hiking. Here we go. Into the great unknown. Whoa. That's like, that's some, some deep pow pow. So way up there is where we gotta go. I really do think, I saw a lot of comments too that you guys think it's a mouse nest that caught on fire inside my um, exhaust. I really think that's what happened, but who knows? Hopefully it's not burnt to the ground so we can find out. All right, guys, we're getting pretty close. I think just beyond these trees over here is a sled. Fingers crossed it's not totally burnt to the ground. <laughs> oh, yeah. Woo. There it is. Right there. Well, from here it looks like she's not totally crispy. Yeah, there's the tree that was down. The reason I stopped, so weird that that tree was down and I decided to shut it off. It's, I don't know, it's weird, but there she is. Yeah, still a gaping hole around the left on the right side. <laughs> All right, so I decided to use the GoPro for this just because it's, it's easier and snow doesn't get in my hand held. But uh, yeah, see I got my pull rope here. It's not really ideal, but it's something. And I got all the tools. I got a flathead, I got some um, Allen heads. I'm actually pretty stoked that it's not burnt to the ground. I am really stoked. It could have been, uh, it could have caught on fire again after I left, but I made sure to pack it full of snow. So I was, uh, yeah, I was probably 85% sure I wasn't gonna be on uh, catch on fire again, but never know. So much snow. All right, poor old girl here. She's really hurting these days. I think I put my pull handle right in here. Is that where I put it? I don't know, I was just kind of in the moment, so, oh, there it is. So not too much of it broke off. I'm pretty sure I can salvage this. Get that out of there. Just like that. She's a little toasty. I actually had to kick it free when it first burnt. Oh, there's the damage. This is uh, what happened. See, there's nothing, it happened, the fire was right here, okay? So there's nothing really that can catch on fire down there unless a mouse built a nest inside here and then it would catch on fire and, you know, it'd light up my, my plastics. Uh, so that's what I'm leaning towards, but still not sure. I, I'm just, I hope we can get it to the house so I can mess with it there and find out what the real problem is, but yeah. Yeah. <sighs> Uno duzo. Ah, oh, man, how much room to play with? Can I get this off, I wonder? <laughs> She's a little toasted. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. I'll just rest that there for now. All right, there we go. I don't see anything in there right now. Ooh, what's this? That is a mouse nest right there. Definitely. <laughs> what was over here? Yeah, that is a crispy mouse nest. You guys see that? A bunch of mouse remnants. Hey, that's, that would do it. Ooh, and it does smell pretty, pretty burnt. Man, that could have been avoided. 
<laughs> I wish I had seen that before. It's just kind of caked on there right now. Man. Well, that would do it. So, yeah. I don't even know if my hood, my hood got it. I think I caught it in time. I can see where it caught the foam on fire a little bit right there. But I think we're good, guys. I think uh, this mouse nest down here is the culprit. There may be something in there. I don't know. I can't see anything right now, but it could be. But definitely, this, this would have definitely caught on fire. And if there's a mouse nest in there clogging up the exhaust, it uh, could run it pretty hot and then ignite a nest. So I'm thinking that's what it was. Mouse mouse stuff so I don't know how much battery I have on my GoPro but I'm just gonna film on that right now and if you see me switch to the handheld you know what happened all right man I think we have enough room I was a little hesitant at first I, I, I kind of forgot that you can take the side plastic off I'm so used to the old trays of the old snowmobiles but I think we can do it get my rope out of here it's a little dinky rope but hopefully it's enough yeah it's like paracord or something let go there we go we got the rope we're gonna try this it'd be so cool like I said it'd be so nice just be able to bring this back to the house and uh, work on it so I don't know if you guys have ever done this before, I'm sure many of you have when you're in a situation like myself, but you pretty much wrap around the clutch and uh, pull it. So I'm going to wrap it around, let's see, we got to go this way, well, there's not much room in there. i take my gloves off. So we're going to wrap it around this way. It can be pretty tricky to do this. Sometimes some uh, snowmobiles have kits that they have rope and a little tool, special tool to use. Uh, I'm not that fortunate. Uh, yeah, just gonna wrap it around real good. You don't want to go too much because you still need to have room to pull it. Something like that. I'll go one more time. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Okay, it's going to take a lot of pulls, it's going to take a lot of time to do this because it's not like your regular pull rope on a recoil where you can just keep pulling it and pulling it, so it's going to take a little bit of time, but uh, we're going to be patient here. I'm going to go full choke. <laughs> uh, my exhaust isn't quite on yet, but I can always throw those on after. And we're gonna bury our gloves in the snow. See if I can do it. Oh man, it's freaking rope. Yep, there's gonna be a lot of this. All right, round two. Get a good grip on it. You don't wanna keep your fingers laced in there in case that thing starts turning over. So. All right, I'm going to shut the GoPro off for now. I'm going to keep working on this. It's going to take me a while, so hopefully in the next clip I'll have it running. Okay, guys, so I just had it running for probably two seconds, and then it died out. I couldn't get to the throttle in time, but it actually fired up with this shoelace. So I got my choke on again, and we're going to give this another shot. I'm willing to bet it's going to start right now, and I'm going to do all I can to keep it running. So check it out. Yeah! Ah! Just gotta keep it running. Once it gets warmed up, if it dies, it'll be easier to start. All we gotta do is get it back to the house. I put the uh, springs back on the exhaust, only a couple of them, just, to, just so we can milk it down to the house, but... Yeah, she's running. Good news, good news. She sounds a little rough, but that's just because of the exhaust. Nice. 
No! Why did you do that? You died on me! <laughs> oh, man. Well, it's running, so it'll be easier to pull over at least. I'm going to free it of the uh, snow and ice, and I'm going to get my stuff together, and hopefully we could send it down to the house and get this thing back there. <sighs> oh, don't do this to me. Ah, don't you do this. Ah. All right, guys, so I spent a long time trying to get this thing started again. I thought it was going to be easier once it's warmed up. You know, usually sleds are. Not this case. I cannot get this thing started with this pull rope anymore. I don't know what's going on. If I was thinking before I left, if I was thinking for the life of me, I would have brought some ether or some gas, a pump to get some gas out of here and shoot some gas down the cylinders. But I don't have that with me. I'm running out of time. I got to go to work. Uh, man, so I'm going to have to, again, walk down, come back up probably tomorrow morning. I have like a very small window I can work on this thing. Uh, so, yeah, it sucks. Sucks. I was so hoping I could start this thing up, get it down to the house, and not have to worry about this thing anymore. But that's not the case. So I'm going to pick this video up again, and uh, we'll see where we are when, I get, when we get back. Man, I can't even talk. Oh yeah, one more thing. As for the pole assembly, I do have the tools to take it off, but I don't really have the time to take it off. I literally have to run down and get uh, get in my truck and go to work. It sucks. So I spent all my time trying to get this started because it was looking hopeful because it started up, and now I'm just I gotta get down to the house. So I'm pretty sure next time I come up here, I'm gonna bring some gas. I'm gonna shoot some, do a little power shot down the cylinders. And I th I'm pretty sure there should be no reason it won't start with that. So next time, for certain, we're going to get this thing running. So, yeah, I just want to say that. It sucks not having time, but it is what it is. So I'll see you in a bit. So, as you can see, we got the snowmobile back. So, what happened was, my brother was going up with his four-wheeler with tracks to go check his game cameras when he saw my snowmobile. I didn't even talk to him about it, he didn't even know, but he saw it and he brought it down here. So, uh, that's how it got down here. I actually didn't have to hike up and get it running and drive it down. So, big shout out to my brother for doing that. That, was, that really helped me out a lot. So, we got it here in the garage. Um, probably not gonna break into it today, but I wanna at least show you guys in better detail what happened here. So, if I can pull this off. Ooh, hey, look at that, it's pretty toasty. Um, I might have to take that off, actually. Let me see what I can do. Ah, actually, no, here we go. Okay, so. <clears throat> Again, I'm not sure. There could be a nest in here, because I know that happens. Um, I know a lot of you guys, you'll take your can and you'll throw it in a fire and just let it toast everything. Um, not sure if uh, there is a nest in there, but I'll probably do something of that sort just to make sure that there's uh, no blockage in there. But the main attraction right here, look at this. I actually got my glove on for this reason. I don't want to touch my stuff. But uh, look at this. Okay, so we got leaves. It's kind of frozen right now, but I can show you. So right there, we got some leaves. We got some uh, mice remnants. Let's see if I can zoom in for you guys. Yeah, so there you go. We got some pine needles. Definitely some mice have been in here. Um, let's see what's down here. Yeah, if it wasn't so frozen, I could show you guys more, but it definitely looks like something was packing some old leaves and sticks and stuff so I'm pretty sure this whole area 
is what caught on fire. There's probably a, a lot more leaves built up before, but they got burnt, of course. But, yeah. Yeah, that's what it is, guys. I'm pretty sure that's what caused it. Again, there might be something in here. But we're going to definitely make sure that everything is cool before we run this thing again. So I'm probably not going to work on it on the sled in this video. But, yeah. So that's, that's what's going on. Here's a better look at the plastics. That got pretty toasted. Right here got pretty melted. I looked online. To buy these plastics is actually pretty cheap. Like I think I could buy this for 80 bucks. I think that's another like 60 or 70. So it's not terrible. Um, I can definitely still ride it like this, but maybe I'll just replace it just because it looks better and whatnot. So yeah, that's what's up guys. Uh, I'm probably gonna end this video right here because we're running short on time, but the next video you see with this thing, we're gonna be tearing it apart. Diagnosing the problem for sure. Maybe throw that in the fire. Um, but again, I'm pretty sure that's it was the mouse nest that uh, ignited because there's really nothing else here like this is fine Some some of you guys were saying there was a gas leak, but I'm not so sure with a setup of this snowmobile that that is What caused it? But yeah, there's nothing here uh, Some of you guys also said the brake was sticking, but I don't think that's the case. So yeah guys, that's it um, I'm gonna work on this a little bit later. Look at this thing it looks pretty pretty rough right now but I'm gonna end this video right here hopefully this was entertaining for you guys um, kind of wasn't really that special of a video I guess it was just me trying to get the snowmobile so hopefully you guys like this video be sure to give it a big smash of that like button uh, check out my social media links in the description follow me for new content um, that's it yeah thanks for watching I'll see you next time for the teardown and maybe possible fix of the IQ 550 Thanks for watching, my friends. I'll see you next time.